Hello everybody, welcome to Wolves Wheels and welcome to July Rewind, the series where I show you footage from events and shows that are never uploaded at time of recording. In this video I've gone to Thruxton for the 50th anniversary of the Motorsport Centre. For this particular weekend they put on lots of special things such as having F1 cars in the paddock, having the skid pan open for you to have a quick passenger ride in, they had touring cars, they had the Mini Mini, they had anything and everything motorsport, which as a motorsport fan myself was absolutely perfect so I decided to go along and check it out. Welcome to Thruxton for its 50 year anniversary celebrations. So without further ado, let's get into it. Over here we've got one of the racing trucks. Big powerful beast, Mercedes, obviously. Big chrome badge on the front, can't miss it. Just look in that interior though. It's very tactical. Definitely not what you'd expect when you go to scan it or any other truck that you may wish to use. You see, big engine takes up the majority of sort of rear chassis, including everything else, gearbox, well, transmission, base exhaust, fuel tank, etc. etc. Massive intercooler. So over here we've got a Sebring MXR, a lovely Ford Falcon, a DC Cobra tribute car, another AC Cobra, Jaguar X Cam racing car, Palmer Sport, so it's something to do with uh, ex Formula One driver Johnny and Palmer's dad, I believe. Another Mercedes here, another Mercedes. Classic BMW M5. Modern BMW M2. An Alpina BMW. There's the RX7. MX5. M5. TVR Wedge, apparently. Jaguar Police Car. Jaguar F Type R. Audi RS6. Sunbeam Alpina, I believe. I'll find out in a minute if I can tell. I was right, I need a Sunbeam. Ah, points to me. Ford Escort RS. And three lovely little Genettas. There's some male in the hand, actually. I'll tell you what, the blue and the black one actually look a bit like an MX5 cut down. Not complaining. <laughs> sunny day here. It makes a lovely change compared to what we've uh, had recently with all these thunderstorms and lightning, etc, etc. Over in this little section we've pretty much got the progression of the go-kart. So we've got the 1960s all the way through to 2001 at that end. Ta-da! So here we've got a 1968, 1966, 1966, 1966, 1966, 1966, 1966, 1966, 1966, 1966, 1966, 1966, 1966, 1966, 1966, 1966, 1966, 1966, 1966, 1966, 1966, 1966, 1966, 1966, 1966, 
80 display area, classic 60s one, or possibly replicas. Let's find out. 1973 for this one. Very nice. A little red one with white striped black little edges. Let's find out all about this one. Very nice little car. This one here, number, uh, number 59. Look at that engine. Isn't it lovely? I always like that livery. I'm loving this, this is great fun. We've got white one, blue stripes, and another red one. Let's go and have another look. Well, let's have a look at it. Classic Ferrari here, designed by Pininfarina in Italy. It's beautiful, isn't it? Just take a moment to admire the looks of it. And then over here we've got a 360 race car. We've got this. My dash, you know what this is? I might find out in that. Well done by Tony McQueen, the M speed tuning on it. Whatever it is, it's very nice. I'm sure someone will come to my time. Over here, we've got projects. This here is just a work in progress. I don't exactly know what it is either, because I am um, totally in front of it comes to older vehicles. Dambrian Mark 6. <laughs> Lovely little yeah. team fella. <laughs> it's definitely falling off the road. Uh, Look at all those filaments. Another classic ice cream van over there. Yeah. Loads of them. Here we've got the classic bikes display. Mm. They're looking very nice in their colours here. <laughs> and over here we've got a Jaguar E-Type with a tow bar on the back. That is one way to travel. Gonna head on through now down to the paddock, which means going through the tunnel. The minutes. Yeah, it will be the 50th anniversary celebration. It's just so happy to fit in with the second year of the Mini Miglia Championship, which of course is all the Mini Miglia over here. The Mini Miglia, I believe. The Mini Miglia. The Mini Miglia. The what I love about the minis is the fact they've been around for so long, so many people have found so many different ways to customise it. If you look over here, these ones are all built to little regulation and mini medias or medias, however you want to call them. And look at all the customisation you've got, different teams, different designs. For example, you've got that little blue and line of green one over there, I don't know if you can see that. Over here, we've got white one with the stripes. All these different colours, different combinations. 
You know what? They all had to their little personalities. Good job, mini owners. Good job. There you go, all the minis on the circuit. Some of them apparently, not all of them. <laughs> Found the Williams Heritage Garage. Let's go and have a look, see what's in it. Some official thrusts and filming was going on here with the Williams Heritage team. Nigel Mansell Williams over here. 1990s car. See, the thing is, what you don't see in today's Formula One, you can see on this, is it's sponsored by a cigarette company. Powered by the Renault unit. It's active suspension that caused a lot of controversy back in the 90s. Real left hand car here. Comes from a time where teams were a lot more experimental with things that would get them that little fraction of a second to put them up in front of the grid. We need more things like that. We need the regulations these days to be loosened a little bit so teams can actually explore to see what sort of things can make them better than the others. Not every day you get to see F1 champion Keke Rosberg's F1 car all stripped back like this with absolutely no panels on it. It's an experience really. Now this particular car here can be driven later today, which hopefully we can get footage of when it's going around the track. It can be driven by current Channel 4 technical analysis, Karen Chandor. So that should be very exciting to watch. This here is Williams' 2016 Challenger, driven by Felipe Massa and Valtteri Bottas. Entered heavily by Martini and Shui, as you can see. If I go back in the, to the uh, Mansell car, you'll see a difference between two and all. So, through this one, very nice. Very, very technical, loads of buttons on it. Whereas in comparison, very, very basic. managed to get a selfie with Karun Chandok. Oh, we got around here. Ooh, new Ford GT. Very nice. Well, have a look at it. Look at it. I love the way that the air just goes through between the cockpit and the line. Chevy Camaro with its big old engine. Look at that big American V8. Aston Martin Vantage. Van Aston Martin Vanquish here. Lamborghini Aventador. And a Porsche Le Mans car.
919 Hyde Group. It does, you can definitely tell it's been roast, can't you? Going to an event like this, the most important fan, is definitely one of the best things you can ever do. Because watching on like watching something such as Formula One, the one on TV, you never get the same sensation you get here. You get the feel of the engine's vibration surging through your body. It's it's amazing. If you haven't gone to a track, I seriously suggest that you do so because this nothing can beat it as a motorsport fan. Seriously. By this point, I spent a lot of time with the So I decided to head on rounds towards the track to find out what was going on at the track side. It is time for the big event. Geraint Chandok has gone driving on the Williams Heritage Cars around the Rams 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 circuit. Uh, evolution of the... Hills of Spain, second gear of this sport. Next thing. After having just watched Karen Chandler bust the Williams around the Thruxton circuit, yeah, he, he was pushing it pretty hard. I mean, one time, snap time, did about 1 minute 12, 1 minute 13 ish roughly, which is a pretty respectable time, especially for an old F1 car around this circuit, you know, cold tires as well. One thing I will say about Karen, very nice bloke, you know, never turned a fan away, he wanted a signature, selfie, whatever. Okay, anyway, on to the next thing. Thruxton were only offering passenger rides this day, but 
I thought I'd give it a go nonetheless. I will say this, if you haven't done a skid pan before, you need to do it. That was so much fun. everything that there is here. There's probably a bit more going on this evening but it's now five-ish and I'm quite hungry so I'm gonna go home. Okay so thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to leave a like, comment down below, I love talking to you guys in the comments, and subscribe for more of this kind of content to come.